This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Very good, Chris Bell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Ow. Careful, Chris Bell. It will strike again. Make sure you press the button right when the attack hits you to block it. Nicely done. Now give it your all. Finish it off. Bell, but I am afraid our work is not done here. Who are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Christopher, by the way. Chris Bell. There. That's two less of them. Been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. Look, Volcano. They broke our poor goblins. How adorable. Can we keep them? Galley, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Until I stop murdering them, I know, I know. I just want to play! Not my fault they're all so squishy. <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. It didn't work. We can't touch them! Even a scratch? We can't take much more of this. Chris Bell, it is time. Use the crystals. The crystals?
Wait, my rose! Keep her waiting. yet. I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He... the frog. It took it. Enough. Enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. miss your grandma, Chris, and how it used to be around here. So many chores! The kids in town get to go out and play. There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day! I still... Would someone do this? Yeah, yeah. Good morning and all that. Never home. He will inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. Think about the future! It's not just the farms that'll be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town! 
Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you! Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now, see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crispell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crispo. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. to find that frog. Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather, it never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. A frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral is as good a place as any to try. Thank you. 
Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone... Who's doing this? Actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Crispell. <gasps> what are... I mean, who... How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I can't! I don't want this! Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. This is a curse! Why is this even happening? You are upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only. But sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately.
Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. Feels warm to the touch. to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why not even I have been able to? Yet it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience! I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage, as am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. Tell me, what do you see in the future? A tree. It's growing from the seed I planted. Exactly. A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care. It will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see future possibilities. So choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. I should get back to Mother Superior. She must be worried. Ooh. 